few of the most frequently used tools in DPL rows are tint, stroke, and shadow. These can be used for creative enhancements beyond the typical print, and they're found on the right side of the screen under Tools. To use them, click on Tools, and press the arrow next to the tool's name to open the options. Let's go ahead and look at them. Second from the top is Tint, and it can be used to change your images to black and white or sepia, or add a color tone to your image. A few down from Tint is Stroke, and it's used to create a thin border around any node that you have drawn. Let me show you. I'll draw a node and check the box next to Stroke to activate. You can use Sample to pick a color from your image and set the width in inches. Here you can select and refine the stroke color by using the color picker. The vertical slider affects how bright or dark the colors are, and the bottom slider affects the opacity. Just under stroke, you'll find shadow, and this can be used to give an illusion of depth under nodes you have drawn. Activate shadow by checking the box and adjust the blur opacity and XY axis by using the sliders.